Welcome back to Pete to Middle School. I am your host, Kyle, and I'm sitting here with the biggest idiot of all, John. <laughs> Hello, guys. I'm now, the big idiot. Explain why you are the big idiot. Um, yeah, well, if you can't tell, I'm in a punishment outfit, and that is because I deleted all of the footage for Thursday's episode this week. Nice. And, and why did you do that? <laughs> Self-sabotage? That is, that's a very good question. You know, why would I do that? I think about that a lot, and the answer is... I was dropped on my head, so it's my mom's fault. Mm. So you're just going to blame it on your mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. No, I, uh, yes. Basically, I still have the audio, and it's a good episode, which is really sad because that was an episode where I, I remember recording it, and I remember we, like, didn't ever really have to pause. We were just flowing. It was just a feel good episode. I remember nothing, though, from that episode. <laughs> yeah. Well, nah, I don't yeah, remember I anything, anything from any of the episodes. That's but true. It was a solid episode, and I have the audio, but somehow the videos got just poof, disappeared. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pu put that up on Patreon at some point. Uh, so if you guys, there's already a bunch of extra content, but if you guys want to become a patron, if you like the show, uh, there will be a, now a full episode up there too, audio only, obviously. Um, but yeah. So. We, could, we could recreate it though, um, just lip, lipping our, we, lip dubbing. Lip sync. Lip syncing, but you're not, you're not sync. Yeah. Whoa, I always thought it was lip singing. Like, I know it's lip syncing, but I always thought that that was only for lip, like, singing songs. Like, lip syncing a song. Wait, what? So you thought that so the I term didn't lip sync was specifically for, for music. singing? Yeah, because I, I was syncing, singing, you know. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I get that. But yeah, it's this would be also be lip syncing. Yeah, we should do that. We'd ha we would have to memorize an hour and 20 minute dialogue. Well, that's probably worth it. And we'd, could, we'd have to practice the timing. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> it's definitely worth it. Yeah. Um, or we could just read a transcript of the podcast and then just reread it. Yeah, we go. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Peaked in Middle School. Kyle I'm... interjects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, um, yeah. So, you know, I'm really bummed that happened because it was a good episode. But that's one of those things that every video editor ever has like had something where you either lose a crucial file or you lose all of it or your hard drive breaks or something. And it, the most annoying part is that this was avoidable. If I just wasn't a fucking idiot, I'd have... Like, it's not that... I didn't drop my hard drive. I didn't magically lose it. I just literally Deleted. cleared the <laughs> SD cards with the footage on there. When did you clear this SD card? It was when we recorded the next episode, and I think uh... I hadn't... I think... I, I don't know. I must have imported the audio, but I must have forgot to do the video, and then... Classic mistake. Me. But I will say, the feeling... Like, that feeling isn't as bad as one time I had the footage on my camera on the SD card. And if you guys don't know how cameras work, basically, like, all the footage is on the SD card. And if it gets close to being full, the best way to clear it and, like, start fresh with more storage is you, you do what's called formatting the card. But you have to do that through your camera. So you hit, like, format... And then it gives you a big warning and it says, are you sure you want to format this card? Because once you do, it is gone forever. And so you, every time I like triple check to make sure I want to do that. But one time I hit yes. And as soon as I hit yes, mm. I realized, fuck, I need that shit. And then it was gone. What was it for? It was for work, like a oh. work project. Did they fire you? No, it wasn't like <laughs> all of it, but yeah. Oh. So anyways, uh, yeah, if you guys are on an audio streaming platform, I'm wearing my sister's overalls from high school. You want to give a little, yeah, a little, little spin here. They are really tight. Yeah, I got the uh, the cool little like cuts. So yeah. You see my leg hair. <laughs> yeah. Um, nice. A sweet ass. Thank you. And then also my hat is a uh, what's this thing called? You Propeller. Said? No, but the type of hat. Uh, I said John used to wear a dunce cap, so this is our form of a dunce cap. But like, is that a thing everyone knows except for me? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys probably know what a dunce cap is. It's the like cone thing that dunces wore. I don't what? know. I just know like a dunce is like an idiot, like a medieval idiot. Okay, but the the gif you sent me was from Tom and Jerry. Is that how you know it? No, I just know what a dunce cap is because I have knowledge. Have you worn a dunce cap? Have you been a dunce? I'm not a dunce. Dude, I would never wear a dunce cap. Dunce. I'm going to see dunce cap meaning. A paper cone formerly put on the head of a dunce at a, at school as a mask of mark of disgrace. At school? Yeah, that's apparently. Fun. That's messed up. So the teacher... <laughs> just like, Imagine... <laughs> You, like, get the answer wrong, and the teacher's like, wrong! You're an idiot! <laughs> Dunce cap. <laughs> Pass it off. That'd be kind of cool, though. No. In your class, yeah. You know, I think teachers need to implement some more, like, 
we need to bring back a little embarrassment. bullying yeah. in a way. Not yeah. like student student bullying. Teacher student Teacher bullying. Teacher student. <laughs> but like l- with love behind it. Okay. So how would you put love behind it? Um, like, so like, I love you, you fucking idiot. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're so dumb. Here's this dunce cap. So everyone laughs at you and you feel really bad, but that'll make you not want to feel like that again. That's so then true. you'll study harder. Yeah, I would probably study harder if I wore a dunce cap. <laughs> That's what like I'm I, saying. I wouldn't want to wear it again. It's pretty embarrassing. Yeah. There's times when, like, bullying actually works. When is a time that bullying has worked? B- bullying has definitely made someone somewhere improve and then be better for it. And like, Yeah. Okay. I, I guess so. I, I But I don't think people are thankful they were bullied. Well, maybe uh, there might be a few people out there that be like, man, if that kid didn't call me like fat in third grade, I would not be in great shape or something. Yeah. Like, and I mean, I think I agree. Like bullying's <laughs> not cool, but people need to admit there's got to be scenarios where bullying has led to good things. Yeah, probably. And there's probably been times where someone was a bully and they bullied someone bad. And then that bully felt terrible and then became a better person after like that. in the bench warmers gus bus yeah. he, he was a he was a big bully and then he realized that that's bad and then he changed his life around yeah. and he made a bunch of like you know bullied kids feel good was there never a bench warmers too no there was but i i saw it, i saw it on some streaming service the other day and it's none of the same characters it's probably just so bad oh damn they got i'll they- watch it someday a bunch of different actors like they didn't yeah. even have the same actors no i don't even know like what it could possibly be oh damn no that because that's good. a great movie like if it they is. made a good sequel that would have been awesome yeah i just john heater has not been in like any movies since that i can that i can think of since blades of glory or that the benchwarmers yeah also he was uh he was chicken joe and surfs up surfs up <laughs> super underrated movie by the way Dude, if you're looking for a good uh, it's like a disney or a pixar movie great movie yeah i don't know if it's Okay, well, first of all, do you remember when there was, like, a period where, like, Disney and Pixar and everything, where they, like, every new movie seemed to be about penguins? Yeah, they had a, pe- <laughs> yeah, Happy Feet, uh, Surf- Penguins of Madagascar. Yeah. Uh, Surf's Up. Surf's Up. And there was, yeah, why so many penguins? But there was, like, three or four other random ones, yeah. too. Um, but apparently, I don't know, I don't know if it's Happy, F- wait, what's the storyline of Surf's Up? Do you remember what happened? Yeah, yeah, so, uh. Cody Maverick is the uh, main penguin, and he lives he lives in Antarctica, and he's a surfer. He's a penguin surfer, and he's always looked up to this uh, this other penguin surfer named Big Z. And so Big Z gave him this necklace, and he's like, you know what? You're going to be a surfer, all right, when you grow up. So he's like, okay. So Cody Maverick's this big surfer, and then there's this big surf competition, and then they come to all these different uh, – all these different towns and they get the best surfers so they bring cody along actually cody had to kind of finesse his way on onto the um surf competition okay and then he finesses his way on there and then it's a surf competition i could have explained that way shorter no it was, no, it was a that's... penguin surf competition and then there's one chicken named chicken joe okay and it's a great movie <laughs> okay shia labeouf is the main character although eh, sure. yeah but you know no. <laughs> do you remember what happy feet is about uh, yeah, it was a little baby penguin that just danced a lot. But I mean, do you know any more than that? No, I, I'm ju- I think it was more like he danced, but people didn't want him to dance. Oh, and he was just naturally dancing was his thing. Yeah, and he just wanted to be a dancer, and people didn't like it. Yeah, never so, give up on your dreams. Never guys. give up on your dreams. Um, well, anyways, the reason I wanted to know is because I forget which, but one of the classic penguin movies is I watched this whole video, and it was like it blew my mind. But basically, one of those is like a. Uh, What's the term? Not an allegory, but like a metaphor. Kind of. It's like one of those movie storylines is literally like directly like a satire or like, I don't know. I don't even know the term, but it's like indirectly poking fun of Christianity. Really? And it's like if when you actually hear someone break it down and like every plot point is like, like the one guy represents Jesus and it basically <sighs> shits on Christianity and how it like essentially it just tears it apart and how it makes no fucking sense and how people worship this like guy who's like supposed to, and it's but it's i don't know which penguin movie but it's one of those famous penguin movies well now i want to figure out which one it is march of the penguins is well, that, was that a movie uh yeah but that's the one that um morgan freeman narrates that one's really sad I think that's just about like penguins dying and shit oh <laughs> i think i watched that in theaters and i was like why am i here uh yeah i think it's- it surfs up I mean, Big Z, is he the equivalent of Jesus? <laughs> yeah, okay, so here's the deal. So 
surfs up. There's a ton of articles from Christianity Today, oh. Christian Spotlight. But the thing is, is that if, if I can find the video, it's like a kind of like a video essay of some film guy breaking it down. But like, I'll link it if I can find it. But basically, like the writers and the directors were all kind of like. I guess kind of like anti-Christianity or like at least wanted to poke fun at it. But from what I remember him saying is that the, the, the studio, like the executives who are funding this and like paying everyone, they didn't really realize mm. that this was like, they didn't make the connection that this was like shitting on Christianity. They thought it was like a wholesome thing. And I think even like the Christianity sites that are publishing these things, like, they realize that it's relating to Christianity, but they don't realize that it's like basically Shit. just making fun of it. Wow. So. That's kind of crazy. I, I wouldn't think that a kid's movie like that would be. Well, that's the point is like, if you're not looking for it, I don't think it, you just think it's like a harmless surfs up movie. Yeah. But if you actually pay attention, I think that like each character represents like different things about Christianity. Well, now I'm trying to think about that movie. <laughs> I, I kind of don't, I don't know if it surfs up because I don't know who who God or Jesus would be in that situation, unless it's Big Z, and he's handing out. Does these... everyone worship Big Z? Well, so the thing was with Big Z is he was a, this famous sur surfer, and he was like the goat. Everyone loved him, and then one day he realized that he wasn't as good anymore, and then he just instead of wanting to lose, he faked his own death, and uh, oh. then he was kind of yeah. So he died, and then it, and then it turned out he was he was still alive. So it was like the resurrection. Oh. So maybe that's then, what it was. But maybe the new guy, the new surfer. Maybe that's Jesus. <laughs> well, but the the guy that like took over was this dude named Tank, and he was a huge asshole. So mm. unless Jesus is a huge asshole, uh, <laughs> but I don't know, man. I'm just saying there's a <laughs> Penguin movie out there about Christianity. Hey, I believe so. you. I believe you. <laughs> yeah, but uh, anyways, guys. Uh, yesterday I went to the Olympic Game Farm. Yeah, tell me about that. I saw some <laughs> Snapchats. It looked like you were in uh, off-brand uh, Yellowstone kind of yeah well actually it's even worse or it's not it looked a little sad yeah like it's fun but basically you go you drive like two hours away and it's called the olympic game farm and then you pay it's like 15 bucks and then it's three dollars per loaf of bread which by the way that might even be cheaper than the grocery store bread <laughs> what kind of bread are they giving you it's like all wheat whole wheat why the fuck are they feeding bread to like bears and shit? That's what, when I was reading the reviews of this place and like a lot, there's a lot of these places all over the country where you can like go and feed animals. Cause I've seen people do it all the time, but a lot of the reviews were like, you know, it was fun, but looking back on it, that can't be good for the animals. Just eating bread all fucking day on top of like, oh. I'm sure they get fed regular meals too. Yeah. So well, that's like, you shouldn't feed bread to like pigeons or ducks or anything like that. It's like bad for them. Yeah, but I mean, I would. I mean, I think that this place is obviously monitored, so I'm sure it's probably like made specifically for it. Like, it's not like they're handing me Dave's Killer Bread. It's like <laughs> yeah. a special loaf, but like bear bread. Yeah, but it's three dollars per loaf, so we got a couple loaves, and then they give you this map, and it's kind of like a big amusement park, and you just drive through it, and then you roll down the windows, and there's. So are there like bears just, like around or are they in cages or so the only animal most of the animals are just literally roaming ar like each animal has a section okay but within that section they have a bunch of room to roam around but then the only animals that are like really separated from everything are the bears lions and tigers and like bobcat like stuff oh, they had, like lions and shit they had lions tigers bob dude they had like at least one of like everything wow. black bear brown bear yaks <laughs> uh elk there was like i thought there was a moose but looking back on it i think it was just a really big elk because i don't think they'd have a moose there well are i mean why wouldn't are there they? moose in they have a lion so yeah i dude there was a z there were zebras and i was like how can zebras live here i thought those I are like in africa i mean yeah but like zoos have zebras i know it's just it's so weird because washington it's such like a cold climate that yeah i'm just I'm kind of anti-zoos. I don't like zoos. Yeah. Well, from my understanding, I felt a little morally better about this because from my understanding, it's like a sanctuary where they like rehabilitate animals. That's what they always say. <laughs> but then again... I'm yeah. sure Tiger King said that too. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I don't know. So <clears throat> you pull in and then the first section was... um, uh, Shit, like a black tail. Uh, what are the little things? They're like badgers. They like come out from underground. But they're mole. It's not a mole. It's meerkats. 
uh, maybe, maybe or, that. Uh, uh, Prairie Dogs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, oh, think I it's love a Prairie Dogs. Blacktail Prairie Dog or something like that. And uh, those were super cute. And then we got to the llamas. And llamas are classic. Do they spit at you? No, but you have to sign a waiver at the start that says, one, like you can get spit on. Two, there's like germs from these animals, so you can get sick. And then three, any damage to your vehicle is not their problem. <laughs> yeah, I bet that happens. Yeah, so the llamas were uh, super cool. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so those were the first ones we fed. And I was kind of terrified at the start. But they're actually really nice. And then we went to the yaks. The yaks are kind of like a... They're just a cow with like wide horns. Yeah, it's like a big fluffy cow kind of. And uh, they were actually really nice. And that's the only one where I felt its tongue. I touched tongues with a yak. What? Well, my tongue didn't touch, yeah. but I touched, you touched the its tongue, tongue of the yak. Yeah, you, you really said that like you <laughs> tongue down a yak. I mean, I'd, I'd like to. I would too, yeah. If they let me. You could put the bread in your mouth and do it. Oh, like a French kiss? Yeah. Like a... What was that? Well, <laughs> that wouldn't really make sense because then my tongue wouldn't even touch their tongue. You could put it out there, though. How, though? If the bread is in my mouth, though, how am I going to also stick out my tongue while holding Well, bread? when it reaches out, it grabs the bread, and then you get a little, like, <laughs> <laughs> to sneak in there. Yeah. Yeah, bro. You always sneak the tongue in. Uh, The yaks, like nostrils <laughs> are so big the yak's nostrils were like that wide bro imagine the boogers they yeah. come out of a yak yeah and there was one yet so like some of them would just stand in like the the car path oh yeah and they just like group up and they just wouldn't move and you can't drive around them because there's like a gate and one of them like was standing there and it just started kind of like doing this with its foot. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and we were like, oh, fuck. And I didn't know what to do. And eventually I just kind of tried to drive around it. Um, but yeah, he, I can't, I came to the conclusion. I think he was depressed. Oh, uh, like I drove around him and he just looked at me and I looked into his eyes and yeah, he was kind of saying like, Hey man, get me out of this place. I feel that though. <laughs> you you should have put him in like your trunk or something. Yeah. Not no. the, uh, I tried to strap him to the roof, but yeah, it was a little too heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Once I was in Yellowstone one time on a road trip with my family. And if you're just driving through Yellowstone, sometimes there's just Buffalo on the side of the road. And there's a whole bunch of people that were pulling over to, first of all, people are so stupid. They're literally pulling over and there's Buffalo like 20 yards away. And they're just taking pictures yeah. outside their car. I'm like, they're wild Buffalo. That thing could just charge you and just easily fuck you up. Yeah. And so we're driving and then there's just this long line of cars and there's these, all, cause all these Buffalo are passing. And so we kind of start, the line starts moving and then we were driving and then we're the first, we're the next car to go. And this Buffalo just steps right in front of us. And it's like probably 10 feet in front of our car. And it stood there looking at us for like three minutes. And we were just like sitting there like, oh, my God, this Dude. thing is huge. Our car was tiny. It could easily just knock us over if it wanted to. It could just use its head and like flip our car over. Yeah, bro. That's the thing is like they could literally do anything they want. Like they could fuck up any car they want and you just hope that they don't choose you. There's nothing I could do about it. Yeah. I don't have a gun. Or like any weapon. I can't fight a buffalo. <laughs> I can't outrun a buffalo. Yeah. I guess I guess you hope that if they do charge you, maybe the other cars would kind of team up and could start like plowing into the buffalo from the side. I would not have done that. <laughs> I would have dipped out of there. Um. So, yeah. Well, yeah, I was actually going to say I went on a road trip with my dad through <clears throat> like from Washington down to Southern California. And in Northern California, there's the Redwood Forest. And when you're, I think near the end of the Redwood Forest, when you're getting out, I remember we pulled over and there was a ton of people doing kind of the same thing. But like, wait, were you saying like they were out of their cars? and like Yeah. Take, yeah. So we pulled up and like, I remember when we got out, there was like a guy kind of next, like we were kind of further away and some guy like was mentioned something to my dad and he's like, yeah, if I were you guys, I wouldn't get closer. Like those people out there are fucking idiots because he like knew about these animals and yeah. he's like all those people taking photos are idiots because at any moment they could charge at them. Like they're way too close. <laughs> yeah. People don't respect wild animals as enough, as enough, enough as they, sh as much as they should. Yeah. Wow. I know. I feel like people just, they don't realize that these animals are wild. It's not the same as seeing an animal in a zoo. Yeah. It's not just a cow that's on a farm. Like it's not going to just 
sit there and look at you like it could fuck you up and if it wanted to yeah and it probably does want to yeah and i'm sure there's a lot of people that have died from that but if i were buffalo i would charge straight at cars mm -hmm. who would you go for like what type of person if you were a buffalo <laughs> um whoever gets the closest to me honestly the, the dumbest person that come towards me is getting stomped yeah but if there was someone near you and you kind of peeked over at them as a buffalo and they didn't look like an idiot would you give them a pass yeah if they're using flash cameras <laughs> yeah i'm charging you okay yeah what what if she's hot though no nah. i would i would like maybe go up next to her give her a bump give not, her a little, not kill her yeah a little headbutt just like paralyze her from the waist down yeah yeah okay um so yeah i saw some yaks i i decided yaks were my favorite um then there was some some european following deer and that seems like the lamest <clears throat> it was kind of cool though because <laughs> i made the connection that like they're called following deer I think, I don't know this, but because they like follow you, literally. Like, well, that seems like the easiest deer ever to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> like, we fed them and then we drove away and they just follow you down the road. It must be easy to hunt in Europe. <laughs> you just, they follow you around. You just, you're still, okay, I'll shoot you now. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. But then there was zebras, but zebras you couldn't get close to. Yeah. They're, and, those are wild or aggressive. They are wild. <laughs> they are wild. <laughs> uh, um, I just know that you can't you can't domesticate a zebra. Yeah. Um, and then we got to the bears. So there was brown bears first. There was no grizzly bears, but there was brown bear and black bear. Are grizzly bears like the most dangerous? Know. Have we established are grizzly bears different than brown bears? I don't know. <laughs> yes. Are they different? Yeah. Why would they have a different name? But then there's also like a Kodiak grizzly or Kodiak, you know? brown bear versus grizzly bear i feel like they're the same the brown bear is a large bear species found across eurasia and north america in north america the populations of brown bears are called grizzly bears boom whoa i never why have i never known that my whole life i don't know you don't know a lot of things you, you knew that yeah well I, that's why i thought <laughs> well okay well then let me see kodiak bear uh, that's like a, uh, what they call them in Alaska. I think that's just their region of bears. Oh, like that part of Alaska? Yeah, the Kodiak. Well, that's disappointing because I thought there was a whole other type of bear. But anyways, um, yeah, there was brown bears that were... But it's really sad because they're all... Sorry, yeah. I almost <laughs> dislocated my thumb. That was weird. <laughs> I was like okay. pulling on my thumb. Okay, sorry, what? Um, It was really sad because the bears are all in like things next to each other but none of them got to be together they're all like separated yeah. by electric fences that's really sad but one of them had like a pond and the other ones didn't and the one with the pond was just bathing in it and he had the bougie life maybe they like rotate yeah <laughs> i feel like you could probably give the other ones a pond yeah um no need to pay for play favorites so then we went from the brown bears then we kind of drove past and you saw the tigers the lions there that was has a, to be sad a literal wolf which i've never seen a wolf in person i haven't either dude it is so in like it's that was almost the scariest mainly because if you just saw that like it could pass as someone's dog like a oh, big yeah. dog but then you see it open its mouth and realize like that is a fucking killer. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. And they also just, they have that energy about them where it's just like, they're just a silent killer. And yeah. they, they look so unassuming and they'll, they will kill you. Yeah. Very easily. And it was, it's weird how with the bears as humans, we like, we have this attachment to where we think they're cute for whatever reason. They are. Yeah. But like that's ingrained <laughs> in like our biology. Like yeah. everyone thinks bears are cute. And I don't know if it's because teddy bears are a thing growing up. But bears could fuck anything up. Yeah, but they're cute. They're so <laughs> huggable. They're so, like, warm. But, but what makes know? a bear cute and not a wolf? Wolves are cute, too. Not as cute. I think bears are cute just because they, they're more fluffy and they're fatter and they're just kind of like... Uh, yeah, you know? <laughs> okay. Um. So, yeah, then we went around. I saw a fox, a bobcat, a couple raccoons. Did the bobcat chase you? Did you pick up the bobcat? No, no. The, a lot of all of these other ones, everything after the bears were all in like cages because I think they're actually dangerous. <laughs> did, I showed you that video right of the bobcat. Did Where we, the did guy we, yeeted him? Yeah, did we talk about that? This might have been the one that we lost. No, you talked about it. Yeah. That was a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Where the guy, he's like, it's a bobcat. <laughs> a bobcat. <laughs> he fucking overhead tosses that thing. Yeah. Dude, I love that video um so yeah then there then there was like white wolves or i don't that seems even scarier i don't know what they were but it was like a big dog that was white um then we got to the elk 
And I thought it was, I don't know if it was a moose still, but dude, one of these guys had thick antlers. Like big Whoa. boy antlers. Yeah, but like the antlers are different with elk and moose. So like moose have this very distinct antlers, you know, like yeah, like a little it, flatter kind of. Yeah, it didn't look like that. Okay. So it must have been elk. Um, But those ones were the most aggressive. Like literally as soon as you pull up to the elk, the elk and these other type of deer were like together in the same area. And literally as we pull in, our windows are down, like 30 of them come in and just shove their head like deep into your car. Dude, I do not like that. That's scary. <laughs> yeah, no, there was a couple times where we actually kind of panicked and had to like, and, and I wanted to drive away, but there was, they were like pinning my car. So I couldn't drive. So we had to give them like all of our bread. And then as they were eating, they got distracted and we had to like get away. <laughs> Wait, like they were... You could not drive your car? No, because I would have ran over them. Oh. So they were like... They are like in front of your car? They were on the side, and then the other ones were like oh. curved around the front. Um, But yeah, then in that area, there's signs that says, do not stop. Like, like you mm. can drive through it, but you can't stop because they could like come up and fuck up your car or something. But you stopped. Well, because we couldn't... <laughs> we had to. I don't know. Dude, there's probably... Like, I bet if you worked at that place... Every day there's some idiot that gets like his car smashed or like gets his finger bitten by something or just, I don't know. Yeah. I have to say, guys, this is probably the most uncomfortable episode. Well, the penis costume, the penis pre-show that we did yeah, in our penis costumes was pretty bad. But right now my boxers are like oh, in I my asshole. <laughs> Like, there is no, no part of my leg is covered by my boxers. Yeah, dude, your balls are probably just a, just a big, like, yeah pressure. Dude, do you ever get where one of your balls, like, goes up inside yeah. like, your stomach? That's one of the scariest <laughs> and things. And the other one doesn't? Have you ever, like, had that happen and not realized that it happened? And you're like, where's my other ball? <laughs> yeah, dude. You just have to shove it down, and it's like, oh. Yeah, and, like, and then it, it kind of goes back into the place it should be. Yeah, yeah. But... It's a weird feeling, though, when you, like, pop it back into place. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I've realized, like, if I get really cold or sometimes if I, like, was wearing compression shorts for a while, it'll that's when it'll happen. But sometimes, like, in the shower or something, like, one time I noticed it in the shower, but then, like, as my body got warmer, my ball just fell back naturally. Oh. And I could just feel it, like, move into place. Ugh. I just, I don't like that feeling. <laughs> yeah. Um... Wait, what brings this up? Oh, your balls. Like yeah, things. my balls feel like that right now. Like, <laughs> cool. if I think one of my balls is inside my they intestines. They might both be up there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> could you Could you keep them up there? Like, my choice? If, yeah. if it went up one day and then I kind of just, like, pushed it and kept it there? Uh, yeah, it's got to be bad for you somehow. Probably. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. Um, but anyways, so, yeah, that was my experience. I'm trying to think if there was any other. Oh, it, there was, like, a ton of peacocks. And there was an there was an emu in a in a cage by itself, but then like the emu was in a cage. <laughs> yeah, sucks. yeah, the emu was just by itself, Dude. like not moving, standing there. And I was like, that's, that's so the sad. saddest life. Yeah, but uh, but the peacocks they had the best setup out of everyone. They like would just roam around the whole place, like literally just like they could just walk away if they wanted. Or can they fly? <laughs> peacocks yeah uh they can do like the little jump fly to like get onto something but no they're not they're okay. not gonna fly <laughs> but like yeah and and randomly like every 15 minutes or so the peacocks had like a gang of them and would just start making the weirdest noise like th all throughout the park you just hear like i don't even want to try and recreate it but do it wow that's like their mating call maybe it might have might have really been really inaccurate <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that's your mating call yeah um and i saw a couple of them do the oh wait oh we saw this one animal that we th we thought we witnessed like uh a yak having sex okay and then as we pulled up we realized that it was just a really big yak itching itself <laughs> <laughs> but it looked like it was fucking maybe it was just pleasing itself yeah do you think they can do that no like i know that animals don't have sex for pleasure other than dolphins but that doesn't mean that, like they could still accidentally ejaculate, right? If uh, like something, if they were pinned and something was rubbing up against their dick. Have you seen Jackass where they jerk off the horse and then drink its cum? Yeah. No. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes. That is so <laughs> is gross. One of the grossest sketches. <laughs> yeah. That's that's up there. Like they have some really bad sketches and <laughs> that's up there. That's up there with the dude that shoved a, a race car and a, a condom and then shoved <laughs> it up his ass. Yeah. Or when he was Steve O was in a he had like a space helmet on with a tube connected to it and they had uh what's his name? Um uh, the over what's the overweight guy's name? I don't remember. Oh, but he ran on the treadmill. He was running on a treadmill. And he was sweating. wrapped in foil. Oh or... yeah, in like a garbage bag, and it was just sweating into <laughs> his. Or he's like farting into it too. I think. Yeah. Oh god, bro, that is the only Jackass is the only show slash series that I've ever like almost thrown up while watching. Yeah, like th- that's the closest I've come to puking while watching a show, and it is. I remember I saw it, j- either Jackass two or Jackass three or something in theaters oh yeah and i remember like the very first scene i was in theaters i think i might have been with my dad and it was like i don't know who went someone went inside a porta potty and and then they 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 launched it and like or no they put it on a crane i think oh and they like tipped it upside down or something as a guy was in it and then all the shit came out dude some guy had his dick get bit by a snake too yeah that was weird Dude, I feel bad for the kids growing up now. Like, there's obviously pranksters and YouTube channels that do, like, there's Nelk and people who do some wild shit, but nobody, no one since has lived up to Jackass. Yeah, well, one of them died, like, on set oh. doing one of their sketches. It was, like, it was one of their, uh, Ryan Dunn, it was one of their golf cart things. He fell out of a golf cart and died. That's, oh, and then the other band, oh, no, Bam Margera's still alive, right? Yeah, yeah, I think most of them are still Wait, alive. Wait, I thought Ryan Dunn died, like, outside of that like from drugs Actually, maybe, or something oh, fuck maybe that's wrong maybe he had a dui someone or, or died like in a car crash. car crash maybe that's what it was yeah i might be wrong there yeah. i think it was when they were filming though okay yeah and uh i mean yeah those guys like the content that they created from jackass i i do think that is something special like a lot oh, of yeah. people would say that uh, like oh that's just fucking gross but i think that that is like a very special art form that they became good at but like it is really sad though because a lot of them did that crazy shit because of how fucked up like their lives were kind of well yeah and a lot of them were very addicted to drugs too so early seasons most of them are high most of the time or drunk or something and then the i think it's season three a lot of them were sober i think they were all sober and so they're just in real pain yeah it's it's like it's way sadder yeah (laughs) also didn't they just they have another one coming out right really yeah i think they do dude i saw this video i don't know why they're still doing it but on tiktok and it was showing photos of each jackass member 20 years ago when their first thing came out and then photos of them now oh they're all so bad dude but steve-o looks well, by far the best out of all of them and he is the one who did the most drugs and had the like the craziest life yeah but that's probably because he's sober now and doing a lot better yeah but it's just funny though because like i his, is his voice always like that Have, has he ever explained why his voice is the way I it think is it was, be- partly be- has to do with the drugs, right? I don't. I have no idea. Oh, probably so he had to have done something to his vocal cords. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine Steve O as like a sixth grader sounding like, <laughs> "Hey, what's up, guys?" <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, Steve O's a cool guy. Have you listened to the episode or like any podcast with him? Or wasn't he on the the one with short story long or something? Yeah, he was on something like that. I think. I think, or maybe he was I on. Pardon my take. You something? and I listened to a podcast when we were driving. Yeah, with Steve. Yeah, it might have been Joe Rogan. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, he seems like a cool guy. He's had a crazy life. Um, sorry. Back to this. Back to the animals. When you were talking about the animals, I, I started thinking about ostriches. Mm-hmm. Have you ever like really thought about what an ostrich is, and just been confused by them? It's a big bird. Like with they're a, a long huge neck. ass bird that. <laughs> Imagine it running towards you. They run like fucking 60 miles an hour and they just, they just sprint and they have like no arms and they just run (laughs) and like, that's it. And their neck just looks like a big scrotum. Of course they don't have arms. They're a bird. They have wings. (laughs) I know, but it's like, they don't even, you know, they don't pump their arms. They're just on two feet and they just, you know. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Cause like the reason we move our arms is that for balance. Yeah. And And they're they're just running like, like that. Yeah. With their fucking neck. And then they lay eggs that are like that big. When you really break it down, they do sound creepy. Yeah. They got long legs, a huge, thick torso, and then a long-ass neck. And it's just the wrinkliest, like, just bald sack neck ever. Dude, it is a bald sack neck. And uh, <laughs> and just imagine one running straight towards you. How scary that would be. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. I wouldn't be as scared about that as, like, a any actual 
game animal because the yeah. ostrich doesn't have like horns. It could probably peck at me, but yeah, it'd peck real hard. But like, I would grab that neck. Yeah, it'd probably be easy to snap the neck, don't you think? Maybe it can bend backwards. It's probably got a real strong neck, but I'd probably definitely go for like a headlock. And once you can get that neck under control, I think you're pretty much. Yeah. yeah, stupid animal. But it might be like a boa though, where it's got a real strong neck and he can like mm. overpower you, or it can like suffocate you with its neck, like a like a snake. <laughs> Imagine just getting choked out <laughs> by an ostrich. Um, so yeah, it was cool. I didn't feel morally bad when I left. I was like, you know, those animals seem to be doing just fine. Mm. Um, it really sounds like it. <laughs> yeah, but something else I wanted to mention was um, somebody commented on one of our old TikTok posts on Pims, and it was about uh, smoking catnip. Okay. And someone commented saying, I tried it a bit ago, what? and I personally didn't get high. It was more of a buzzed feel, and it lasted for about 10 minutes. Very calming if you add roses to it. So this person smoked catnip and roses? Apparently, I don't know what they meant by when I originally read that. I thought he said like rosé, like if you have some catnip and a glass of wine. Yeah, that sounds it'd nice. Be a nice little buzz. But then roses, I was like, I didn't know anyone has ever smoked roses. It's got to do something. Yeah. I, I actually, I feel like I've heard roses before. I think I think I've heard people talk about like putting roses in their like their joints or something, but. Wait, roses in their in their joints? Like the rose petals, maybe? Oh, I thought you meant like a joint, like a like an <laughs> elbow joint. <laughs> no, like in their weed joint. Oh, yeah. oh. Um, can you smoke r- rose petals? Let's see. I feel like I've seen a tweet about that or something. Whoa, there's like a... I think it has a certain benefit. Dude, there's a company called Smoke Roses, and it's literally like just like you pre-rolled rose joint. Yes, we can smoke rose petals. Smoking rose petals sounds like an experiment and something completely new at first. Smoking rose petals is very effective. Uh, When smoking rose petals, you will likely get a taste for the positive effects. They create a feeling of inner peace at the same time and at at the same time act as an aphrodisiac and also reduce depression. The scent of the rose petals alone is stimulating and can lift the mood. I think I'm just going to start smoking rose petals <laughs> <laughs> if you want to quit smoking and try your hand at herbal tobacco rose petals could be just the thing for you yeah you can use it as an additive in a joint or in combination with cannabis concentrates okay if you smoke rose petals you may easily feel euphoric however this feeling is not very long lasting what persists what persists is it brings you in a positive mood and offers a fundamentally relaxed feeling that can also help with depression Okay, but then the catnip thing is still where this guy's lost me. Because, <laughs> like, I rose petals, okay, that seems like clearly that's a thing, but Yeah, so catnip. he's like, he probably had tried it with weed before, and he's like, you know, this catnip's been sitting around. My cat died. Don't want to just throw it away. Smoke so, that nip, light it up, spark up some nips. Yeah. Yeah, so, I don't, I cannot imagine that being good. Yeah, I just wanted to bring it up because I, because I, I remember, like, when we first talked about it, we are like, oh, yeah, someone's probably tried it. So there you go. You and won't die. stumbled upon our clip, which yeah. is really weird that they're like, well, I actually, I have done this. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, something else that I, uh, that I wrote down here was, so when Kyle got here today, my sister was over, like she was working from my parents' house today and she's like, Oh, Kyle, what was the photo you posted yesterday? And you were explaining this, the Norwegian independence day, right? Yeah. That's also uh, what Matt claims is my birthday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Happy. Everyone say happy birthday to Kyle in the comments. <laughs> thanks. Because it's his birthday again. It's not, but thanks. Um, so wait, what's it? How do you say it? Set to my. Set to my. Yeah. I, that, that's my white. Nor, that's my Americanized Norwegian. But accent. say it how a Norwegian person. I don't fucking it. know. Set to my. Something like <laughs> some shit like that. I don't know. Okay. So, but Morgan was like, oh, Kyle, what is that? And you told her and she's like, oh, cool. And I just had this kind of big revelation where I was like, Think about how many times someone has either asked you a question or you've asked a question to someone that you've probably definitely already asked them in the past. Yeah. Like, not that, I mean, maybe Morgan has never asked you about that holiday, but that was like the type of question where it's like, it's a random thing that happens once a year. It's not the most memorable for like, for Morgan. So my point is in like in a year from now, she might ask. Same Morgan could see that and be like, "Oh, like Kyle, what was that thing you did yesterday?" And I was just thinking, there's probably so many times where someone's like, I don't know, whether it just be something like, "Oh, like 
say where does your sister work or yeah. like oh what does your dad do but like there's probably times where you've been asked the same fucking question by the same person like once a year for 10 years I know for that specific question, the set to my, I have been asked by all of my friends. Like you have asked me multiple times. I know Jordan's asked me multiple times. All my friends have asked me multiple times. That's a question that I just always answer. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of questions that I have definitely always answered. And I, I definitely am. I definitely ask questions a lot too. Yeah. But sometimes I'll ask a question and immediately not hear the response or pay attention. And I'm like, I realize immediately I'm like, fuck, yeah. like I've been getting in a bad habit of that lately where I, I ask a question and then I just stop paying attention. And I don't know why I do that. And then I hear the answer and I'm like, I feel bad to ask again what this answer was because you yeah. just told me. So I'm just going to act like I knew what you said and I'll ask in like a month. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I'll ask a question and as they're in the midst of giving the answer, if I like get distracted or I get a text or something, even if I'm really trying to like keep eye contact with them, my brain just goes to a totally different dimension. Yeah. Um, But I don't know. I just thought like, how weird is that? And it, it kind of defeats the purpose of asking a question if, and obviously like you can't remember everything. There's going to be things that you forget over the course of a year, but it defeats the whole purpose of ever asking a question. If then you're just going to have to ask it again later. Like, I feel like when you ask a question, you should really try to be like actively engaging with the answer to the question. Yeah, you should. But I think sometimes people ask questions just for the sake of asking a question. So yeah, Morgan probably doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, about <laughs> like I don't think you know that, that's probably just a, a general question of like, oh, I'm I'm kind of curious. I don't care that much, but like I would like to hear your answer, kind of. Yeah, that's kind of what that question was. And yeah, I definitely ask questions, and I'm like, I do not care about yeah. what this answer is, but I'm gonna ask this question. Yeah, and that's just like a nice thing to do to yeah. have a conversation with someone. But um, I don't know. Like I'm sure there's a baseball question or a Mariner question that I've asked you. Yeah. And you tell me. I, there's also been things that I just tell you guys because I know you don't know. You don't you don't accept it the first time. It's not it definitely not ingrained in your memory when I tell you a baseball thing. Yeah. So I'll tell you again. <laughs> um, but I would love to know just a list of all things that I have been told in my life or like all thing, all knowledge that I should have that I've been told that I've just has escaped my brain. Yeah. Like if I could just be like, wow, in 2014, John said that he's a quarter French or something <laughs> like that. Like yeah. That would be sweet just to know all the facts that I have no idea I knew. But that's scary. Cause if you could actually get that, like a list of everything, then you'd have so many, like, cause everybody says contradictory things. Oh like, yeah. Like six months ago, I said, I hate something. And then six months later I say that I love it. And like, you'd be able to just tear apart everyone's, points because you have all this info that contradicts everything they said that's why being someone who like sports commentators they have to just stick if you say something you have to stick with it like you can't really change but why because people will call you out and then if people start calling you out saying like well you're just saying different things here then but you, like, you, you immediately could, lose credibility but you could admit as a commentator like someone could say oh like i think this team's going to be like not do do well this year and then they can change their stance and be like oh yeah you know earlier in the year i didn't think they were going to show up and yeah blah, blah, blah. that that that's fine but there's some things where it's like i'm going out on a limb saying this bold take like i think tom brady's overrated or something like that yeah if you say that you have to stick by that for the rest of your career why can't that's you just say, that's you, how it is no you can change you can say yeah you know that was dumb. Like I thought Tom Brady was overrated, but I mean some people do, but proved. for the for the most of the sports commentators, like they're very you you have a take and that is your take. You stick to it. But like you don't have to. I know, but that's you how it shouldn't. is. Shouldn't they they just choose to do that though. Or they're they're forced to do that by the network by or the something? company or whatever, yeah. Yeah. That's dumb when they just force controversy <laughs> they always do that it's really stupid like some of the debates they have you you can just tell one person doesn't even want to debate that side of it yeah i saw a tweet from emma watson today or yesterday and she basically said like dear fans uh any article about whether or not i'm engaged and whether or not there's a new or i'm in a new movie coming out all of it is just oh how did she word it she essentially said all of it is just to get reactions out of people whether or not it's proven or disproven so her point is that these companies who love to write articles about celebrity gossip and celebrity drama they don't give a fuck if it's true or false oh, the yeah. whole purpose is just getting clicks and she i i don't know maybe there was some article posted about like oh is emma watson engaged like i don't know what the article was but 
I guess it was a big deal. And she literally just went out and said like, unless I think her point was like, unless you hear it from me, it's all just these companies that are just trying to get clicks and they don't give a fuck whether it's accurate or they don't care at all. That's just messed up. Like, why would you want to do that to another human being? Money. Get rich. Got to get rich, Kyle. Yeah. But the it's clicks, like, the ad revenue. But at, at what cost though, you know? Now Emma Watson doesn't like you. I want Emma Watson to like me. Mm. It's Hermione Granger. But she could cast spells. Six hundred thousand dollars on an article. <laughs> and or Emma Watson liking you. People get six hundred K on articles. Well, no, but uh, I will somewhere. Yeah. I saw Ariana Grande just got married. Yeah. I didn't even know she was engaged or dating or I don't but know. I also don't keep up with Ariana Grande's dating life, to be honest. That too, yeah. Um so yeah how do you think pete davidson feels not the greatest but he's you know he'll have some good comedy routines yeah yeah he seems like a cool guy no but i mainly just meant how do you think he feels just as a person in life just right now in this moment uh judging by interviews that i've seen from him in the past not great i think he struggles with mental health so <laughs> so he might you know so depending on the day yeah good or bad but i mean you know same here yeah um just like you pete Except right. I, I didn't get a tattoo of my fiance on my on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, let's just just no one ever just don't get a tattoo of a partner. Right. Yeah. Unless you were married to them and then they died, mm -hmm. then you can get a tattoo because that you can't get divorced with someone who's dead. True. Can you? No. No. <laughs> <I> think, <laughs> yeah. What happened? Like, you're widowed. Like that's the term. For, but can you be a guy that's widowed? Yeah. Or is that not the term? Yeah, I think it might, it might be like widow... Widower? Something. I don't, I don't know. know. But like, yeah, so when, when if you're married and then your significant other dies, legally, what are you? Are you just single? I think you're a widow. Yeah, but I mean, I guess you're back to being single, but I think you're a widow. Yeah. I don't know. Because there's probably benefits you get from that person. Or yeah, like, yeah. whatever. I don't know. Anyways, okay. should we hop into our segs? I'm down to do segs. Let's have some segs. All right, so we got recommendations today. My recommendation, this one is specifically for you. Now, it's not going to be as impactful because it seems like you've kind of moved past your blunder this morning when you deleted the files. Oh, yeah. Um, but I, I just wanted you to, to – to, uh, because I know when this happened, I can only imagine the blood pressure in your body and how, how enraged you were and how yeah. frustrated you were. So I want you to just take a deep breath, say what it is that you did, and then let it go exhale mm. let it go into the wind and it's gone give it, it back to the universe mm -hmm. so do that right now this morning i went to go edit an episode and all the footage was gone because i john cole stephen farrar was not responsible enough to put in the sd cards and import the footage before we recorded a new episode i take responsibility and i'm moving forward with my life good that's good. It's gone. It's gone with it. <laughs> it didn't even happen. It didn't even, well, it did, but it, <laughs> <laughs> it totally happened and you're not going to forget it, but now it doesn't matter. Well, it does. It does matter, but, uh, it doesn't matter as much Yeah. and it shouldn't impact your life. Kyle's going to like, <laughs> Kyle's always going to hold that against me. He's going to like, anytime we're like editing or doing anything with the podcast, he's just going to be like, yeah, but remember that one time you deleted all the footage? I'll always have that. I'm glad it happened to you and not me because yeah. I would feel horrible if I did it. No, I mean, I feel pretty bad, but it'll happen to you at some point. Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, as soon as I realized it was gone, my heart rate increased, my face got red, and my pits just started oh. drenching in sweat. Uh, yeah. Drenching? I don't think that's... Pouring boring. sweat. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, my recommendation this week actually perfectly relates to being too hot. Uh, for a long time, I didn't think that ice in drinks like i never put ice in drinks mm. i just think it's dumb I, I agree but the other week like it's been really hot getting pretty hot here in washington and like th my parents house doesn't have ac and i'm upstairs editing and my computer gets hot so my bedroom's really warm it's just a big swamp it's a swamp and so i was like i'm i need to get colder and i tried putting ice in my drink for the first time in at least four years 
and it actually works. Wow. <laughs> like, ice makes your cold your drinks colder? <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, guys, ice makes your drinks colder, which in turn, when you drink it, you feel a little bit colder. I'm going to have to believe that or see it to believe it. It's stupid, but like that truly is one of those things that my whole life, I've just avoided ice. Not because I didn't like it, but I always just thought like when I put my cup up to the water thing, it comes out Pretty colder cool. than room temperature. Yeah. So I was like... I couldn't possibly, why would I need it any colder than it already is? But boy, does it make a difference. Yeah, but I don't, see, I'm, I, I, I see what you're saying. Sometimes ice water is really nice because if you're really hot, it's great. But it makes your drink sweat, first of all. That's annoying. I yeah. don't like that. Can we come up with unsweatable containers? Well, hydro flasks. They don't sweat? No, oh, yeah, because they're metal. Yeah. Um, but sometimes hydro flasks are they're too much, you know? I don't know. Yeah, your squeaky hydro flask got real annoying. Yes. Uh, yeah, that. Uh, you can get the hydro flask with the, the thing. Yeah, the like straw, a straw thing. Still, though. But then I feel like that's almost not that sanitary because someone could easily just, you know, spit on my little straw? sucking sucking straw. Someone could spit on that. Yeah, but it's not where my mouth goes. Your mouth touches that part. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but as long as I don't know. I realized the other day at the gym that, like, Although everyone's taking all these precautions with COVID and stuff and like wearing masks and wiping down the machines, I realized that it's almost impossible to really truly avoid it entirely to like be as safe as you like probably should be. Because I was yeah. thinking even if I wipe down the machines, I'm still getting... I never wipe down my water bottle and I set the water bottle on the ground and then I touch the weights and then I touch my water bottle. Yeah. And then also I was thinking like my phone and my keys, I set them on the ground at the gym and then I pick them up and I don't like wipe down my phone in between every single set. Oh yeah. I mean, I, so the germs are there. Oh, I, I never realized how, how many germs I came in contact with until this whole COVID thing happened and I became more aware of it. And I was like, whoa. There's a lot of germs out there and a lot of things that we're always touching. And I realize how much I touch my my fingers to my mouth. I have, I think I have like a like a I didn't suck my thumb as a kid, but I have a weird thing about touching my mouth. When do you touch your mouth? I don't see you a lot. Not during the podcast, mouth? but if I'm watching TV or something, I'm always what? touching You're my like, mouth. What? What are you doing? I, I'm like doing like I don't know, just picking my lips or something, or like I I bite the skin around my fingers. I used to bite my fingernails. Now. I will put my fingernails in my mouth, but I won't bite them. And so I notice myself doing it. I'm like, th I'm like, this is just gross. Like, it's not sanitary. It's gross. I look like an idiot. Um, yeah, it's just something that I always grew up with, and I, it was a hard habit to break. And I catch myself doing it. Yeah. And I don't know. I just – I realized that even wearing a mask to the gym, like, if you're – I'm not saying – I'm not even saying this is necessarily, like, a bad thing. It's just the fact that if you really wanted to, like, avoid COVID at all costs – just wearing a mask isn't enough. No, definitely you know? not. Like, so, oh, I wanted to say the gyms in Washington apparently are officially, you don't have to wear masks anymore. Yeah. Which also, is cool. Also, Mariner games, if you prove that you're vaccinated, you can uh, go in without. Also, Let's I think go. Seahawk games are going to be full. Well, I think that, I'm pretty sure they said June something. We're going to be like full. Everything. Yeah. Every June 15th? Yeah, something like that. Or end of June, maybe. Yeah. Um, We'll see. Cool. Well, uh, uh, the last thing today is fan questions. Would you rather always feel like you have ants crawling around your body or would you rather always have a clown watching you while you're having sex or masturbating? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, there literally are ants or it feels like there's ants crawling? It feels like it. All the time. Yeah. Or, or you're just always being... Let's just say you, there's always a clown in your presence. Like, within sight. Like, seeing... He's just always looking at me. Yeah, let's just... Let's make it like that. Dude fuck like you can always turn a corner and there's always everywhere you look there is a clown that is <laughs> that is looking at you or you always feel like ants are crawling around your body is the clown cool or is he creepy he doesn't say anything i pick that i'm down <laughs> if he's if he's not gonna do shit i just go on a date or i'd go out to dinner and be like hey guys look there's there's jerry yeah but then you're in your room at night and he's <laughs> he's looking through your window yeah, but but um, I, I have the peace of mind knowing that he's not going to do anything. That's true. I think at some point you just befriend him. Yeah. And even if he refuses to accept that, if he's on a mission, I can just wave to him, 
Yeah. I can even give him, like, if I'm making dinner, just pass him an extra plate and leave it there. You can have my leftovers. Yeah, just whatever I don't then eat. Then I come down the next morning and it'll be gone like Santa Claus. Just like Santa. <laughs> He's always watching you. Yeah, he knows when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows when you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know, though, because the original question was that it's specifically during sex. Yeah, so maybe we could change it back to that then. So, like, in that case... That almost seems like he's a sec, like he has sexual motives. That's what I'm saying. So it feels a little more predatorial. Yeah. Um, but the ant, I mean, I wouldn't be able to live my life if no. I thought ants were always crawling over me. Yeah, it's got to be the clown. And if you picked ants, then while you were having sex, you would feel like there's ants on your dick. Yeah. No one wants that. Might feel nice. Guys, be sure if you want your question to be asked on the show, DM us on Instagram at Pim's Podcast. Just come up with something fucking random or good. Don't do something boring. This person says, just curious, what are your thoughts on women with six packs? What are, what are my thoughts on them? Yeah. Just what are your thoughts? Uh, Cool. If you want to. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You got a six pack. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, it's more than I have. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess. If, if they're asking, am I attracted to them? Like, if you have a six pack, I don't care. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, the more the question wasn't, are you attracted? It's just, what do you think? What, what do I think thoughts? of them? Uh, I think you're in great shape, and you probably you can do a lot of sit ups, a lot okay. of crunches. Yeah. Really strong core. Yeah. You're not gonna have back problems. There you go. <laughs> so a lot of good signs if they have a six pack. Definitely. At what point is it really considered a six pack? Because there's yeah. guys with like abs. Like, and we all have like Shim abs. has abs. Does Shim have what you would consider a six pack though? Uh yeah, lately he's been looking good. Okay. <laughs> he's been cutting. Yeah. Yeah. But Shim six months ago, is that a six pack? Maybe uh, I don't have his body memorized. <laughs> to be honest. Oh yeah, you do. To Come be perfectly on. honest, I have most of his body memorized, not <clears throat> his abs. Yeah, Kyle told me that Shim drags Kyle around the apartment on his back. <laughs> yeah. Why did I tell you that again? Oh, to make me taller. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I've been I've been growing, so so Jordan, so I have Jordan just pull me around to like lengthen my body. Yeah, when Kyle doesn't have clothes on, so then it gives him a rug burn. Yeah, these are just conver- this is what we talk about before the podcast starts. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for listening. Uh, Kyle and I have been recording a bunch of episodes recently because we're going to California soon. So when you guys are listening to this, we might be gone. Um, we will be in the air potentially. Okay. Well. There you go. Uh, Kyle, where can they follow you? At Kyle Stafford 36. Follow the podcast at Pim's Podcast, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You guys can follow me at Hey Narwhal on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I am currently doing a movie challenge where I'm watching through every single superhero movie ever made. And that's on TikTok. Uh, people are really liking it, so go follow me over there. But then also, I'm doing longer reviews for each of those movies on YouTube on, a, on my other channel called Hey Narwhal. All that's linked below. So go check it out. And with that being said, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Peace. Peace.